this review is of Baba Evsky Confectionery Concern OAO in Moscow, Moscow, Russia, not Moscow, Ohio. Um, and uh, this is 75% um, bitter chocolate, or a Baba. They, they have it written as Bitter Chocolate Baba Evsky Elite 75% Cocoa. Um, I guess, uh, you know, just like in America, uh, crappy marketing works. Uh, elite, ooh, I, I feel like I'm holding gold in my hands. Um, this company's been in business since 1804. This, I think that's the, I think I haven't seen anything older than that so far of all, um, that I can think of. Anyways, does anybody know what the oldest operating chocolate company is? Well... Let's see here. There's really not so much that I can read um, on here, um, unfortunately. But um, let's see. Cocoa measure, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, emulsifiers. So I less than ethers of polyglycerol and inter. What the heck is that? The heck is that? Interetherified ricinoleic acids vanilla flavoring. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, <clears throat> um, aside from this beautiful uh, front side, which I, I think it's very attractive, um, here are the nutrition facts. And then um, over here in English, we have ingredients and nutrition facts. Um, now, I realize that there's currently warfare going on where Russia has invaded the Ukraine. Um, hold on a second. Sorry, the wrapper was resisting being opened, so I forced it. Oh, let's see. It smells like chocolate. I mean, like, just chocolate. Chocolate. It has that. The back is like that. All right. It's easy to break. Mildly sweet, a bit sour and bitter. More bitter than other ones I've had. If you're interested in a, a dark chocolate that has more of the sour and bitter, not a lot of sugar, this is quite possibly only 10 grams of sugar per serving. This is quite possibly the strongest one I've had as far as, that, that includes more than a touch of bitterness and stuff. Um, so you might want to give this a try once we're done banning Russia. I, <clears throat> I think I bought this before Russia invaded. Yeah. Yeah, I got this before Russia invaded um, the Ukraine. Um, but I'm certainly not happy with what Putin, poo -poo tin has done. Um, it was a really shitty thing to do. And I think he's full of crap. Um, I could call him a caca head. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't resist. I mean, 
I feel bad for the Ukraine. Um, they didn't, you know, I don't, I don't think it was warranted um, at all by any stretch of the imagination, except for insanity. And I think that um, it's going to be potentially based on what I'm seeing. And I don't really pay a lot of attention to the, the news, but it seems to me like Putin was testing the waters to see what everybody else would do by putting his military by the border. And when nobody did anything, he was like, okay, I'm going to attack Ukraine. And nobody did anything. And now he's marching his way across the Ukraine. And is this going to be a repeat of Hitler? Well, I hope not. And I hope that um, somebody will put a bullet in his brain pan. But uh, we'll see. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.